dear friends and fellows you are watching safety first and today's topic is mechanical hazards or the hazards from a machine i am your host javed if you are new on this channel kindly subscribe the channel and if you find the video informative kindly like comment and share first of all we will discuss about the standard where the mechanical or machinery hazards are discussed the hazards of machinery are set out in iso 12100 standard of 2010 which covers the classification of machinery hazards and how harm may occur in the risk assessment of machinery it is essential to consider both permanent hazards and those which can appear unexpectedly hazard situations and events during all phases of machine life cycle need to be covered these include transport assembly and installation commissioning use maintenance dismantling disabling and scrapping the human interaction with the machine involving numerous tasks throughout the life cycle of the machine should be considered they include setting testing teaching programming process tool changeover startup all modes of operation feeding the machine removal of product from the machine stopping the machine stopping the machine in the case of emergency recovery of operation from jam or blockage restart after unscheduled stop fault finding troubleshooting operator intervention cleaning and housekeeping preventive maintenance and corrective maintenance etc in all these phases there is the interaction between a human being and a machine dear friends and fellows let us discuss how a person can get injured with machinery the ways are the reasons how with which part of the machine a person can get injury or fatality or death a person may be injured at machinery as a result of number 1 acceleration deceleration potential for impact being thrown or run over slipping tripping or falling for example from a piece of mobile plant or an overhead traveling crane number two reason is angular parts angular parts of the machine may cause injury to a person potential consequences are impact crushing or shearing when a person hits a stationary part of the machine or a moving part impacts on an operator particularly in mobile plant number third reason approach of a moving element to a fixed part potential consequences are crushing or impact through being trapped between a moving part of the machine and a fixed structure such as a wall or any material in a machine the major hazards of the machines are crushing shearing cutting drawing in abrasion ejection and entanglement etc there are few photographs and there are red markings this is the danger part uh, where a person interact with the machine he can caught in drawing in hit by ejected crushing hazard shearing hazard cutting hazard where a person can get injury the number four reason of human injury with the machine is cutting parts potential consequences are cutting with a cutting edge such as a bandsaw or rotating cutting disc number fifth reason is elastic elements consequences are crushing or impact when an elastic part is deformed and suddenly straightens or returns to its original dimensions or explodes when an air bag used for lifting fails number sixth reason falling objects potential consequences are 
crushing our impact. For example, if a load fell from an overhead hoist or rail system. Number seventh reason is gravity. Potential consequences are crushing or trapping. For example, if a vehicle lift failed while a person was underneath. Eighth reason of the machinery that is causing a human injury is height from the ground. Potential consequences are crushing, impact, slipping, tripping, or falling. For example, getting out of a truck or large piece of mobile plant or gaining access to a tower crane. Ninth reason, high pressure. Potential consequences are injection, stabbing, or puncture, impact, for example, from a high pressure hydraulic system leak. Dear friends and fellows, you are watching Safety First. And today's topic is machinery hazards and how a person get injured or get trapped with the machinery. Tenth reason is instability. Potential for being thrown, crushing or impact when a machine breaks its holding down bolts and falls over or a tower crane is not left free to slew to the wide direction and is blown over. Eleventh reason, kinetic energy. Potential for impact, puncture or severing when, for example, a kinetic recovery rope is used to tow a vehicle or a ship and it snaps the whiplash can be very hazardous. Twelfth reason of injury with the machine is machinery mobility. Potential consequences are being run over impact, crushing wind. For example, a large machine is being maneuvered in a small space. Number 13 reason is moving elements. Potential consequences are crushing, friction, abrasion, impact, shearing, swearing, and drying in. For example, on grinding wheels or sending machines, or when a moving part directly strikes a person, such as with the accidental movement of a robot's working arm when the maintenance is taking place. A further example is when persons are drawn in between in running gear wheels or rollers between belts and pulley drives. Number 14th reason, rotating elements. Potential consequences are severing or entanglement. For example, an exposed rotating shaft which grips loose clothing, hair or working material, such as embry paper. The smaller the diameter of the revolving part, the easier it is to get a wrap or entanglement. A further example is a shearing which occurs when part of the body, typically a hand or finger, is trapped between rotating and fixed parts of the machine. Fifteenth reason is a rough, slippery surface. Potential consequences are friction, abrasion, flipping, tripping, and falling. For example, the operating area around a machine is very slippery from product spillages, and the operator falls over and are into machinery hazard zone. The sixteenth reason of human injury with the machine is the machine sharp edges. Potential consequences are severing, impact, shearing, stabbing, or puncture. Seventeenth reason, stored energy of the machine. Potential consequences are crushing, impact, puncture, and suffocation. When the stored energy is released suddenly, for example, when the wall on a welding gas bottle, other hazards such as explosion, or fire may also be present, is broken off, or a high pressure air hose breaks. Number 18th reason for personal injury with the machine is vacuum. The potential consequences are crashing, drying in, and suffocation. For example, the sudden failure of a large vacuum vessel. These are the reasons those are causing a personal injury while operating, maintaining, servicing, or 
टैपिंग ए मशीन डियर फ्रेंड्स एंड फेलोज लेट अस डिस्कस हाउ ए मशीन चेंजेस बिहेवियर हाउ इट बिकम्स डेंजरस द पॉसिबल स्टेट्स ऑफ मशीन शुड बी टेकन इनटू अकाउंट व्हिच आर नंबर 1 the machine performs the intended function the machine operates normally number 2 the machine doesn't perform the intended function for example it malfunctions due to a variety of reasons including variation of a property or of a dimension of the process material or of the work piece failure of one or more of its component parts our services external disturbances for example shocks vibration electromagnetic interference design error or deficiency for example software error disturbance of its power supply and lastly surrounding conditions for example damaged floor surfaces so these are the reasons these are the causes a machine can change its behavior and it can cause injury to its operator or any other individual in the close proximity let us discuss how a operator behavior matters machine alone doesn't cause accident the operator involves in the accident most of the time the unintended behavior of the operator or reasonably foreseeable misuse of the machine must be considered examples include loss of control of the machine by the operator especially for handheld or mobile machines the reflex behavior of a person in case of malfunction incident or failure during the use of the machine behavior resulting from lack of concentration or carelessness behavior resulting from taking the line of least resistance in carrying out a task behavior resulting from pressures to keep the machine running in all circumstances and behavior of certain persons for example children persons with a disability all these behaviors are dangerous and these behaviors lead to an accident the behavior resulting from work pressure reflex behavior loss of control lack of concentration carelessness shortcuts are bypassing the safety devices by the operator is a negative behavior this behavior may always leads to an accident which results in a personal injury fatality or damage and major accidents and that's it training session related to the mechanical hazards or machine hazards is over now if you have any question please ask in the comment section down below thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share the video hope to see you soon with the new hsc tutorial probably the non mechanical hazards of the machines till then take care good luck and allah hafiz